Today's video is about obesity and kidney disease. If you have any kidney disease and obesity, if you're type 2 diabetic with kidney damage and you're obese, this is a video you want to watch because we're going to talk about how to protect your kidneys when you have obesity from something you can get over the counter at most pharmacies. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, but more importantly, I'm a kidney survivor, which is why I'm so, so passionate about this stuff. I still have my fistula from dialysis uh, over 18 years ago. Make sure to subscribe if you have it. Now, today we're going to talk about obesity and kidney disease. So being obese, morbidly obese, complicates all kidney disease. It can cause kidney disease. So it's something that you want to address. Weight loss would be ideal, but if you're looking to do something right away, over the counter, with a great supplement you can take. So this piece of information is coming from the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, January 2022. And the title of the journal is Kidney Damage Caused by Obesity and Its Feasible Treatment Drugs. So what they talk about in here is obesity-related kidney disease or obesity complicating kidney disease, and that you should do the conventional drugs, the blood pressure drugs, the, um, a new drug like Forsega, or the new class of drugs um, in that Forsega category, which we have, a, we have another video about. That's something you might want to talk about, discuss with your doctor. But something they talk about is melatonin. Melatonin, a super supplement if you have kidney issues, it provides great kidney support, as well as alleviating a lot of the issues that come with kidney disease, like not sleeping properly. So I'm going to read you exactly what they wrote here. Uh, furthermore, we concluded that melatonin can protect the kidney damage caused by obesity by inhibiting inflammation and oxidative stress, revealing its therapeutic potential. So that's good news, great news. Why? Because melatonin is very safe. It has grass status, generally recognized as safe. You can get it over the counter very easily. Most pharmacies will have it. Now, melatonin is a natural hormone that our bodies produce. It helps regulate our, our uh, sleep-wake cycle. So we know when the kidneys are damaged, it can interfere with melatonin production, which then can cause people to not sleep as well, contributes to more of that inflammation, oxidative stress, and you can take this supplement over the counter. Now, when you go get melatonin, you're going to see a lot of doses from one milligram up into 10, maybe 20 milligrams even. The standard dose that most people will start on is three milligrams of melatonin close to bedtime. So it is one of the most popular supplements used for sleep, if not the most popular supplement. And because of that, you want to take it before bed because if you take it during the day, you might get sleepy and groggy and that's not how you want to function throughout the day. So you want to start with three milligrams. You can go up to five milligrams. You can go up to six. You can go up to 10. It all depends on how you're sleeping and if you're waking up really groggy. So some people will take three milligrams of melatonin and just wake up like tired, groggy. It's hard to get going. In that case, you would reduce the dose. Most people will be okay with three. That tends to happen when you get to higher doses, like five or 10. And so you may have to reduce the dose to find the right amount for you. But generally speaking, most people will start with three. That's a good starting dose. If you're an elderly person, an older person, 50, 60 years or older, with kidney disease, you might want to start with the five milligrams because you may need more of it. Generally, older people need a little bit more because they're not making the levels that they did when they were younger, plus complicated with the kidney disease, you generally can start a little bit higher. Uh, side effects of melatonin, the most common side effect is bad dreams or very vivid dreams. They're not always bad, they're just vivid. Now this happens only in a small percentage of people. It tends to go away but for some people it's that bothersome where they discontinue, but it's a very, very small percentage of people. The other side effect is a small percentage of people will get the opposite reaction where they, instead of feeling tired and sleepy when they take it, they'll get actually hyper and get more energy and more active. So those two things are one of the main side effects. They're in very small percentages, so it's not something you should really uh, worry about or not take the supplement because you're worried about it. You should at least try it. Uh, because it has so much potential, so much benefit for people with obesity and kidney disease. And we know from a lot of other research, it just has so much benefits for the kidney. So consider taking it, melatonin, three milligrams to five milligrams to start. Check out all of our other videos, hundreds of videos to help you support kidney health. 
And to your best kidney health, everyone.